International conferences like COP27 deliver bold commitments to tackle climate change, and international institutions such as the European Union come up with programs such as the Green Deal. But it's actually the national governments and authorities that are charged with implementing these policies and achieving these goals. That opens the door for divergence and that undermines the chances of collective success. Competition policy around the globe is a perfect example of this. Delivering these big changes to tackle sustainability and climate change more broadly, especially as we work towards net zero, requires fundamental overhauls of business practices across entire industries. It's not going to be legislation that can be the sole or ultimate solution here. It's going to take too long and it's going to be too difficult. It cannot tackle all of these issues. So corporations themselves need to take steps to address these challenges and they will not be able to do it alone. They will have to cooperate with others in the industry. And antitrust regulators really have a role to play here. They can create safe harbors, they can create frameworks, they can make sure that corporations understand what they can and cannot do when they're working with their competitors to tackle these challenges. If you look at antitrust globally, we really have a patchwork of rules. We have some authorities that are really focusing more on tackling greenwashing claims. Others are really more on the antitrust side, trying to create safe harbors and a mechanism for companies to assess what they can do and really an analytical framework for that type of cooperation. And even within the EU, you have a sliding scale of approaches. You have the more liberal and progressive authorities on the one side, that would be the Netherlands and the Greeks in particular. And you also have more orthodox authorities, such as the Germans on the other side. And the European Union, the European Commission itself, is positioning itself somewhere in the middle of this. They do recognize out-of-market efficiencies, which is a key game-changer here, but also they're very much focused on sustainability standards. So even within the EU, we have somewhat of a patchwork, but if you look very closely, there is some convergence around common goals here.